Hi everyone, welcome to the homestead. I'm Kim and this is the homestead. And today we're still wearing Paragon Ridge Ranch shirt because it's the same day. <laughs> and uh, so we're just going to be working around the house again today. I'm going to try to get some more plants planted and Mark is going to be doing some weed eating right after he gets done with the animals. So let's do this and y'all hear some of the stuff that needs to be done i hope you can see it i can't see anything in the screen this movable fence um, is covered in kudzu <laughs> so we have to get it all, get the fence line weed eated so that the goats can get back on this and take care of this kudzu i mean it's growing crazy absolutely insane lots of food for them but um we want it cleared out so that we can actually see the land and that it doesn't overtake everything so let's do this y'all check out this pond while i'm up here looks a lot better now that i got a lot of it weed eated i mean there's still messes that needs to be cleaned up but Looking good, looking good. Usually when I come up here, I usually end up hearing fish jump there. That winter frog. Um, you can see some little, well, you could see some little baby fish in there. I don't know if it's picking it up through the camera or not. So I've had some people ask, or basically <laughs> tell me, that uh, this landscape barrier uh, makes it to where worms will not do their thing. Okay, look at this one hole. This plant died, so I'm replacing it. But look at this. There's a little baby worm. There's another big worm. There's still some more in the hole there. This was just one scoop that I took out. Okay, so there you go. The proof is in the dirt. <laughs> so anyways, landscape barrier. You still have plenty of worms in there. So there you go. If you had that question or you thought that it would hinder worms from being in your garden, then there's your answer. Okay, as far as the garden goes, what I got done today was all of the ones that had not survived, as far as tomato plants go, have been replanted. And so now I just have this crazy roll to go. And then this garden will be completely done, well, as far as planted goes. Um... Look at this crazy thing. Look how much it's grown since the last video. What in the world is that? I have no idea. My hands are filthy. Here's the back of it. And once again, the bark that grows up. This thing grows tremendously fast. No clue what it is. So that's all that I've got done in the garden today, but I mean, that's pretty much all that needed done, except for this last roll, and it needs cleared out my tomato plants. Those jet stars are horribly bad looking, but the others are, um, yeah, they're getting root bound. They need out of their pots and into the garden where they belong. Okay, so Mark worked on the uh, the fence line to get the goats back up eating the kudzu. After he got home from work, he didn't have a whole lot of time to work on it. But we'll take a little walk and show you what got done. My feet are probably going to get soaked. It poured the rain, and this ditch line is wet. And I have flip-flops on. <laughs> okay. So here's 
part where we start going up the hill to the pond and eventually to the cabin. But here's the fence line. And we are going to be moving this. We're going to move it along the edge of all of the road there that I made. And let the goats out on all of that. Um, this is all we could do. Was it last year or the year before? I can't remember now. Anyhow, let's go for a little walk. It's been a lovely day. Not too hot, not too cold. Um, it poured the rain last night and the day before that. <laughs> no, not the day before that. The night before that it did. Um, the kudzu was growing up into the fence. So as you can see, the weed eater caught the fencing and made a big mess because the kudzu was wrapped up in the fencing. And normally I would be pretty irritated about that. And he was irritated about it while he was working on this. But this fence has to be moved anyway. So <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So the other day, we got, uh, I think it was 14 of the meat chickens butchered. And then we were going to do the rest of them the next day. However, it rained and with all the weed eating and stuff, I ended up hurting my back somehow. So I was pretty much in bed and only doing what I absolutely had to do for the day. And so I'm feeling better today, so I sat on my butt in the garden and got some of the plants planted. This is a big old mess. Looks like he started to move some around. But anyhow, that's as far as he got. Again, he didn't have a whole lot of time to work on it. But what he did was great because um, it just needs just that area up there done and then we can restring this fence in the different direction because my oh my look at this kudzu starting to grow we need the goats on it um, even up at the pond last year they had it down to where you couldn't even see a piece of kudzu and now look at it now again it takes like three seasons for goats to be eating on the kudzu to finally kill it off so even if it takes a little longer that's okay too uh, we'll work with that. <laughs> I have no intentions on getting rid of the goats anytime soon, so um, It's just more food for them and as long as they keep it under control, then that's super fantastic. Look at this how thick this is With kudzu and see it goes up the trees and smothers the trees out And tangles them up into other ones <laughs> Okay, so that's what he got done Little is riding the lawnmower around because I haven't got to around to fixing his four-wheeler yet. It's on the things to do list, peeps. It's on the things to do list. <laughs> that big old rock right there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so we're going to call this a wrap because I need to go in. The sun is going down and i still need to throw dinner on and i have no idea what it's going to be this is monday and normally on mondays because mondays suck so bad we normally have spaghetti so that's probably what it's going to be spaghetti hey everyone i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching have a great day and god bless you